Hi everyone, Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm bringing you another Corel Draw X4 tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be going over the uh, fill tool in this program. So, uh, if you go to the bottom left of the screen, on the bottom of the left uh, toolbar, there's a fill button here. If you press on the little mm, triangle, you'll get a list of different types of fills. So the first one on the list is uniform fill, uh, and pretty much it's just a basic color that's uh, solid throughout the entire object here. Uh, the next one here is a fountain fill, which is a gradient. It fades from one color to the next. Um, and in the top left here, you can choose the type, such as linear, um, radial, conical, and there's square. So to demonstrate this fill, I'll just do conical here. Uh, choose the second color, um, and OK. And it looks like a cone look viewed from the top. That's the effect that it gives. Uh, the cool thing in this program is that you can easily edit the fills after you've made them by pressing on the interactive fill tool. And you get this these series of nodes that you can move around, uh, which moves the fill around. It's very easy to, to edit and very useful. Um, OK, the next one on the list is the pattern fill. Uh, it gives you a library of different repeating images that you can put on your um, object, such as this. And they, of course, can be um, edited with the interactive fill tool, like this. Uh, the cool thing about this is, though, that you can upload images that you've made before, and so it's there's pretty much unlimited possibilities of patterns that you can put on objects. Okay, and the fourth one on the list is a texture fill. Uh, this has a wide library here of uh, textures that you can put on your image. You can edit the colors, like for example if we don't want it to be white, uh, but say green. Um, let's see what this looks like. There we go, and this once again can be changed with the interactive fill tool. Um, there's a large selection of these textures on here, and they're great to play around with. And the final thing that I'll show you, which uh, relates to fills on here, is, um, is the uh, transparency tool. It is uh, slightly higher up than the fills, so uh, let's make this, uh, to demonstrate this, let's make this object here dark gray and we'll make this circle in the back uh, say orange. Okay, uh, now what you do is you press on the um, transparency tool and now drag from where you want your transparency to start and where you want it to end. So we'll start here and move it over here. And now you can see that this uh, black dark gray um, circle has become transparent and you can once again move these around to change the properties of the fill. It's a very useful tool. So that's pretty much it for now. Uh, thank you, this has been Kremlin for the Techies.